We have other videos where we talk about how small molecules or ions might be able to go through a cell's membrane in different ways, whether actively or passively, maybe facilitated in some way. What we want to talk about in this video is how we can do this for larger things. So we're going to focus on here is bulk, bulk transport, transport. So this first example, you could imagine this, this cell with this mauve or purple colored membrane is engulfing this big green thing, which is maybe a bacteria or something. And so you see that the membrane, let me make it very clear, this is, this is inside, this is inside the cell, this is outside outside the cell, and you can see the cellular membrane starts to wrap around this, I guess we can think of this as a bacteria, it then it fully wraps around, and then the, that membrane that was wrapping around the bacteria pinches off, and now the bacteria is inside of the cell, and it's wrapped by this membrane. And this process, where you're engulfing these large things, we call this phagocytosis. So this is phago, phagocytosis. And the, pre the, the prefix, I guess you could say phago, comes from the Greek for to eat. So this is literally about cell eating. And in many cases, this thing that is now in here, you could view this as the cell's food, this compartment that is holding this, this, this in this case, bacteria, is going to transport it maybe to a lysosome so it can be processed and digested in some way. We would call this big compartment, this membrane-bound compartment, we would call this a food vacuole. Food, food, vacuole. Now, this scenario down here is similar but, but different. Over here I have the cell, which is, and I see part of its membrane, and it's in magenta right over here. We can see the phospholipid bilayer. That's why I drew, that's why I drew two lines for the membrane. And instead of engulfing a large particle or bacteria, it's just engulfing some fluid. It's engulfing some fluid. So you see it's starting to wrap around this section of fluid, wraps even more around this section of fluid, and then the membrane that was around it completely pinches off and goes into the cell. And I'm drawing all of these things in two dimensions, but this would actually be happening in three dimensions. So this wouldn't just be a circle, this would right over here would be a sphere. And this thing that has been pinched off and is now inside the cell, we call this a vesicle. Which is a, just a general term for these membrane-bound compartments inside of cells. And this process where the cell has essentially drunk a bunch of fluid and the stuff that happens to be in the fluid, we call this pinocytosis. 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 And pino comes from the Greek word to drink. And I'm always fascinated by word roots, and I, I'm not a linguistic expert here, but it's neat because even in languages uh, I, I'm familiar with, like Hindi and Urdu, they, the word pina means to drink. So it's a, and maybe it's even related to the word pani, which is in those words, in those languages. I know all of these have a shared linguistic root, so it's always fascinating to see these, to see these linguistic connections. So this is pinocytosis, where you're, you're, the cell is drinking, so to speak, but it's also getting the other stuff that's in that fluid. This is phagocytosis, the cell is eating. And those, these are both special cases of, I guess the more general term, of engulfing in this way, which is called endocytosis. Endo endocytosis. So phagocytosis is a form of endocytosis, and pinocytosis is a form of endocytosis. Now the next question you might say is, okay, I can get that this happens, this can be observed under a microscope, but how does it happen? How does the cell wrap around and pinch around? And like I say in a lot of videos, People think that we understand some of it, but this is not fully, fully understood. There's views that, well, the cytoskeleton, the cytoskeleton must be involved in some way. It has to create, it has to create space here for, for this thing to be able to, for, for this thing to be able to pinch off and move in that direction. It maybe will help actually the, the cell, the cell's membrane wrap around in some way. But these are all areas of active research. How does this endocytosis actually occur? How does the cell know what, what, to, endocyte, uh, what to, to consume, I guess you could say? And then how does the membrane actually behave in this way to do it, uh, to, to do it well?